Jeez, why do I even have to go to these things? It's pointless, and I barely even talk to anyone. Yeah, nice seeing you too, Mr. Fazbear. <laughs> oh! Hi, everyone! <laughs> okay... Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Totally fine. Not as if I was forced to cancel my plans for my friends to join this. <sighs> my apologies. I'm just... Not used to big changes, that's all. Okay, what about it? Yeah, I remember. I didn't need it because I'm not qualified as a performing mascot. What? No, I'm not taking the offer. And yet, I have already been through this discussion many other times before. I am not going to perform. First of all, you are not me. None of you are. Second, I'm uncomfortable with going back on stage and working with kids. It's not that simple. <laughs> That's funny. I don't see why you're all so surprised. I hang out with them every day. I don't plan to just abandon them. Also, I like fixing and creating things more than that singing and putting up a fake personality for the world to see. Unlike the rest of you. I do. I try. I've been trying to since we first got here. But it seems to me that you want me to change. Change and fit into the perfect cookie cutter that your siblings can't fit into either. More than what? Disgusting monster? Useless piece of trash? A nobody? Do any of you stop and think about why they turned out the way they are? Oh, is this the past we're talking about? Alright, fine then. Which group was considered dangerous in 86? Which animatronic in Mr. Fazbear's crew caused the most fights with Goldie and once nearly threw him outside? Who was the copycat and thief of the Fazbear establishment's ideas in the 80s? And which main leader used to bully their sibling while being on stage and encouraging the children to do the same? <laughs> really? Then why do you have such a hard time understanding your siblings' actions and can't help them? Or perhaps you do understand, but you simply won't do anything about it because you're too proud of your success to lose it if everyone knows. What's wrong? Am I wrong, Mr. Fazbear? Wonderful. I guess this meeting is over then. I don't think there's anything else that we need to discuss, is there? All right, then. For what? For you to put my words down and silence me just like the others? Just because I stood my ground? <laughs> and to think, you used to tell me all the time to stand up and be myself. Seems like you've already drawn in the deep ends of fame. Can't hear what's see what's wrong. You can only hear the white noise of the crowd cheering for you as you continue to drown and suffer in it. Save it. I'm sure everyone would like to carry on with the rest of their night. 